Realizing they were surrounded, six islands in Biscayne Bay surrendered this afternoon to Cristo and to Art. The remaining five are expected to be surrounded by tomorrow, maybe sooner. Is it conceivable that the islands could be surrounded by dusk? We're all hoping so, and they're working energetically out there, but Cristo has to make that determination, and it will be made in the near future. As the final image of the surrounded islands came into focus late this afternoon, community reaction intensified. Some 200 art students from the Dade County Public Schools were invited to see and sketch the islands from the top floor of a new Biscayne Boulevard high-rise. They generally gave Cristo high marks. It's terrific because um, it's, it's, can, it's like an inspiration for more tourists to come to Miami. It's, a, it's different than all of the things that most artists do. They're wasting all this money on what? He's going to be up there for two weeks. The relatively brief run for surrounded islands doesn't bother some grown-up art experts. What is important is the spirit that is behind the works of art, and this is it, eternal. What do you think they mean? Well, in a sense, uh, art means whatever meaning you attach to it, and it cannot ever be the same for you as it can be for me. But I believe it's instant poetry. If you don't own a helicopter or a high-rise condo in Biscayne Bay or a boat and you still want to see the surrounded islands, you can drive to one of the best vantage points here on the north side of the 79th Street Causeway. Other choice viewing spots include Morningside Park at Northeast 55th Street and Margaret Place Park at Northeast 20th Street. All 11 islands should be finished by tomorrow. Michael Putney, Channel 4 News. Uh, Pam, it is all over here, but the shouting and Christo and crew plan on doing plenty of that tonight. All 11 islands are surrounded, and they'll stay that way for the next two weeks. At exactly 1.22 this afternoon, Miami earned at least a footnote in art history, and, and Christo wrote a new chapter in his own unconventional artistic career. Early this morning, island number nine, north of the 79th Street Causeway, was the only one of the 11 islands not completely surrounded by a pink fabric apron. A select team of some 40 volunteers stitched and laced and pulled at the pink polypropylene fabric. They were watched closely by Christo and by some enthusiastic boaters. Well, it's an international event, and we're part of it, and it's fantastic. People want to get up and touch it and be a part of it. They're going to see it for years to come, all these magnificent photographs of this. Uh, and it's really a, an engineering wonder. Christo is an international and well-known artist. He's terrific, and this is uh, one of his best, I think. Almost everyone who turned out to watch the final unfurling seemed to like it, even if they couldn't say what it all means. I'm not too sure. <laughs> I, I still can't get over about all the work that they've done. You know, for such a little time, they're going to have it up. Boat horns and cheers greeted the completion of the project. The boaters applauded, the workers on shore whooped, and even the normally reluctant artists turned talkative. It's like a marvelous garden for several miles, and, uh, and we try to, you know, keep in order. Now, the images obviously are very beautiful, and it is a floating garden. Is that its own meaning? Uh, it's a project who, uh, different from the previous project I did, involved the uh, so powerful the physicality of the water you know, and, it, and con 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 constant motion. It's not a static project, it's a project with a lot of uh, gentleness and some kind of furor of water and um, shadow and, and it's very rewarding. So after nearly three years and more than three million dollars, Christo has finally succeeded in surrounding 11 islands in the bay. This work will be dismantled in two weeks, but the image and the impact of the surrounded islands will last for years to come. Reporting live from Pelican Harbor, Michael Putney, Channel 4 News.